Hello everyone, Darren Eastman here, Product Manager for GitLab Runner. Today I want to spend a couple of minutes reviewing a few of the key issues that we're working to deliver in the upcoming Fluid Data Release milestone. The first issue I want to draw your attention to is issue number 1379. So in the 12.01 release, we are shipping a fix for the issue where a build crashes with a no such file or directory error when trying to clone the project repository. That's reflected here in merge request 1934. So this fix will introduce a new environment variable, gitlab underscore runner underscore disable scale, which will disable the population of the default skeleton or scale directory when it's slowing the runner through the .deb or .fpm packages. The background here is that sometimes the default skeleton directory causes issues for gitlab runner and it fails to run a job. Finally, in 13.0, we're adding a last bit of code that will help if users encounter this error in the future. Specifically, we'll be marking failures in the prepare environment stage as a system failure instead of a build failure. If a system failure is generated in the repair stage, then the error will return a link to the GitLab runner shells documentation page, which will contain additional information about specific dot files that are known to cause errors or failures with the runner executors. Another issue that we are looking to wrap up in 13.0 is issue number 3376. As I mentioned in previous, in previous um, release videos, this has to do with the long running jobs that cancel the GitLab UI, but the runner process continues. So at the moment, we have a few open merge requests that are under review, and our goal is to wrap up those reviews and ship a fix for this, fix, for this bug sorry, in 13.0. Some additional issues that we were looking to deliver in 13.0 are related to some follow-on bugs that are a result of the fix that we shipped in 12.9 for issue number 4.1.1.9. If we recall, issue 4.1.1.9 had to do with jobs that were marked for success, even though the job had too many midways in Kubernetes. So in 12.9, we released a change to the Kubernetes executor that's behind the feature flag currently, where we introduced the use of kubeattach versus kubeexec for script execution. So users and community members that have been testing this fix have reported that the bug has been resolved. There have been, though, a couple of full-on P3 bugs identified by those that have been testing the fix. So we will be working on implementing fixes for those bugs in 13.0. The relevant issue numbers to follow along with are issues number 24928, 25346, and 25377. In addition to those bugs, we're working on a few key features in 13.0 as well. I want to call your attention to issue number 10120. So in 12.9, we released support for creating a network per build for the Docker executor. So with this feature that we're introducing in 10120, we'll be adding labels to the Docker networks that are created for each build. And finally, the other issue I want to call your attention to um, in terms of new features that we're looking to deliver in 3.0 is issue number 4843. This feature will enable the runner to execute the after script stage if a job is canceled from the GitLab UI. As reflected here in the issue description, this is to support a new state that will be introduced in GitLab where the use of the cancel button in the GitLab UI will stop the execution of any of, any of the stages. As always, if you have any questions about any of the issues um, that we re review here tonight, feel free to drop me an email. My email address is theeastman at gitlab.com. You can also comment directly in the issues as well. I'll talk to you soon and have a good evening.